Hi folks, Aaron Dorr here, Policy Advisor with the Missouri Firearms Coalition. Giving you guys kind of an overview on, on where things stand in the middle of April now, or almost the middle of April in Jeff City in the fight for gun rights. Last week uh, was very busy, had some great progress made, but we're a long ways to, uh, from, from anything passing yet in Jeff City. And the calendar deadline is, is the, the clock is ticking ever louder. So here's where things stand. Last week, our bill sponsor in the House, Representative Jared Taylor, ran an amendment on House Bill 575. House Bill 575 deals with uh, campus security issues in general. And of course, the biggest problem that they have right now is that, unlike many states, you can't carry a firearm on a college campus or university campus here in Missouri, even with a permit. And so Jared Taylor's amendment that he ran last week would fix that and remove the gun-free zone protocol that state law mandates right now on our campuses. The bill passed 94, the amendment uh, was added on, and the bill passed 94 to 41. Now that was a that was a, not the final vote. The final vote for that bill may happen as early as tomorrow. So when you see this, we have action emails for you underneath the video. They're pre-written. They take like two seconds. So make sure and fire off your email so that the vote is not complete. But the first vote has taken place, 94 to 41. You know, it was kind of amazing hearing the testimony for and against this bill. You would have, it was just amazing. All these anti-gun gals were trying to browbeat uh, Jared Taylor and others who were trying to advocate for law-abiding men and women to carry on campus, saying how somehow it's going to make women somehow uh, more in danger. And Jared uh, brought the point that, you know, one in four women on a college campus during their four-year time in, in, in college are sexually assaulted. 15% of them are actually raped. And so as Jared was asking, are you going to tell me, you're going to tell me that with one in four women being sexually assaulted, you don't want to give them the means to fight back with a concealed, uh, a concealed handgun? And when he made that point and drew it out much better than I did just now, you could have heard a pin drop in the entire chamber. It was just like, it was done. The arguments were over. So this has happened, but one more vote has to take place yet. And this might be worse. We, we might lose votes on this one uh, because of other dynamics. So talk to your lawmakers, fire off that email and tell them to vote yes on HB 575 as amended, which includes campus carry. That was the first thing uh, of the week. Number two, uh, was the hearing in the Senate chamber on Eric Burleson's Second Amendment Preservation Act uh, bill. Um, um, the bill number, just I just lost my train of thought in the bill number. Uh, his bill would basically nullify all federal gun control that may happen down the road and make them null and void uh, here in the state of Missouri. It's been his bill pushing this for a long time. It had its first hearing just last week. It had a good hearing, but it hasn't come out of the committee yet. And if it doesn't come out by Thursday, the bill will, for most part, for, for, for most uh, normal ways of moving bills, that bill will be dead. And so if you want to help us advance that bill, you got to talk to your senators and talk to that committee immediately and tell them to advance that bill, which I believe is SB 367, but I'm not 100% sure. That was a big advancement as well. And finally, then, that brings us to our main bill in Jeff City, which is our bill to repeal all the gun-free zones. In the House, it's House Bill 258, sponsored by Jared Taylor. Now, we've had a hearing on this bill two weeks ago uh, in the General Laws Committee. The hearing went fine. Alexander Salzman was there testifying on your behalf, making your voice heard in the committee. But since then, Chairman Dean Plocker has refused to advance the bill. We have He will not give anybody a clear reason why. Uh, he simply refuses to advance the bill. And it's widely known in Jeff City that Dean Plocker wants to become the majority floor leader and he wants to become Speaker of the House in a, in a short matter of time in Jeff City. So guys, we need you to email Dean immediately. We have his email below this video as well and tell him that, hey, bro, if you want to lead the, the, the House, if you want to be a Speaker of the House one day, you better lead right now in the fight for gun rights. And you are the one, he is the one who is blocking this bill, who is killing off HB 258. So make sure he knows that you want to see him knock it off and push HB 258, House Bill 258, out of the General Laws Committee. As you guys probably know, this bill would repeal all 
of the state mandated gun free zones in the state of Missouri. So besides college campuses, we're talking about churches, talking about daycares, talking about voting precinct locations, talking about hospitals, talking about certain kinds of restaurants, uh, sp uh, you know, sports arenas, uh, stadiums, uh, public transport systems, all the kind of places where so often we see madmen attack trying to get a body count. This bill is phenomenal stuff. Many of you, thousands of you, have called and emailed your state lawmakers saying, pass the bill. We have a lot of pro-gun votes on the General Laws Committee, but Chairman Plocker is holding this back. And he needs to hear from you guys right away. So again, email that other email you'll see below this video to him as well and tell him to advance this bill. So guys, that's where things stand. A lot of moving parts. Make sure and fire off your emails right away. If you haven't yet joined, guys, you can visit joinmofc.com. That's joinmofc.com. We need everybody to help stand with us so we have the resources we need to make these fights on your behalf in Jeff City. So visit joinmofc.com to do that. And guys, share this video far and wide. More to come. Thank you.